because it's just practically fucking cold now because it took me seven minutes to open the cinnamon and I broke a nail as well. Are you fucking kidding me? Now I have a banana. I would actually do more cooking if it wasn't so fucking difficult. So here we are, banana, 29 cent from Trader Joe's as opposed to three dollars from Air One. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm at the coffee station slash which is beside the shipping station and I'm kind of just like I'm looking at orders coming in. Any orders from Ireland, by the way, I'm going to pack myself today and they'll be dropped off on Monday morning first thing. This was not a fucking good idea at all. Like I said, I would do more cooking if I was genetically modified to cook, but it just, I can't open tins. I can't use ovens. I'm here cooking a famous, what they call a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I realize it's jam. I used to be always like, why do the Americans eat jelly? Which is like, we call jelly is jello. And it's just the most delicious thing. So this isn't a get ready with me skincare because I actually know what I'm doing there. This is a meal prep. I've also had to raid the fucking cupboard. I'm on, I've two knives. There's my air one. Very pretty. I fucking need coffee. And the banana. Oh yeah. So I'm going to put the banana on this. I have two knives and a spoon out everything. Okay. One second now. So get not get ready with me. Make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with me. Okay. So we have Trader Joe's fig butter. I feel like I had a strawberry jam I should have used. Uh, the toast is, was cooked 10 minutes ago. It came out of the toaster oven. Oh, this is fucking stressing me out. Here's the thing. It looks much nicer when it comes on Postmates. There's a sense of occasion. Oh, Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake. And I, so, and add cinnamon. This is good. I actually like cinnamon a lot. Shit everywhere now. One sec. So when you're at home making your peanut butter and jam sandwich, one thing I think is great is Trader Joe's seventy-two percent cake out dark chocolate chips. If you didn't eat them all on the way home from the fucking store, seven left. Oh my god, the toast is gonna be so cold. This is actually looks good. Yeah. Do you know why I want the Azempic? I want Azempic because I've hurt my hip and I've put on about 10 pounds. It's fine, I'm still a size six, size 10. But also, if you have Azempic, you don't get hungry apparently. Because like, I'm fucking busy, I don't really have time to be eating. So if you have Azempic, you don't get hungry. <laughs> Fuck, this is delicious. But I already had one of those today, which is really bad, and coffee. I'm just doing a second breakfast. It's like four o'clock here in LA. Oh my God, it's actually delicious. It's a fucking miracle. I got stuff in the store and brought it in. It's been sitting in the office for about three days. The bread is probably going to be gone by gone bad by tomorrow. Sourdough, gluten-free, wheat-free, whatever. And I was home the last time that I asked for gluten-free and the Lady Mary goes to me, Oh, Jesus, Danielle, are you, are you a celiac now? I was down in West Cork. I said, no, Mary. I live in Los Angeles. That actually took so fucking long to make that. So I cooked this. Look, you can see my favourite things. Chilli salt. That's surgical tape because I broke a nail trying to open the fucking cinnamon. Like, honestly, I would cook more and food prep more for sure if it wasn't that things didn't open. Like, nothing worked for me. Like, I just, I can't work an oven or something. I did a joke the other night, actually, on stage. It was basically like, I, I was talking about reality TV because I should talk about reality TV. And the joke was something along the lines of you guys... Selling Sunset is the number two ranking global reality TV show. Who's watching? Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. And then I say, it's a bit like Cookers and Hills, whatever. Hoochie Mama's in Hollywood Hills. And then I say, but guys, I'm watching this, this show at the moment. It's my favorite show. It's on Netflix also. It's a kind of hybrid of Great British Bake Off meets a, a meal prep show. Who's watching it? It's called Dahmer. I think it's a good joke. It's a little dark, to be honest with you. Speaking of which, this is dark chocolate. This is delicious. Like I said... Now I don't even, I've taken three bites and now I'm not even hungry anymore. Such a fucking drama. But I'm going to have my grapefruit juice. I already had one of those today, which is bad, from Air One. And a coffee. Again, it's very late, but I have loads of work to do. And I woke up with a headache because I had really bad nightmares last night and the night before. Because I keep getting the La Scala Kardashian salad and it has bits of cheese in it. And if I eat cheese at night time, I get really bad nightmares.